Hello book lovers and welcome back or welcome to Nat Cat's Bookish Cafe. Today I will be going through the 12 books that I have selected for my 2023 Vlog Squad Reading Challenge. <music> part of a discord with a few other booktubers where there is a google spreadsheet where we have placed some of our 2022 favorite books and the challenge is to select 12 books from that list and read them in the next year at least i'm pretty sure that's what the challenge is and that's how i'm doing it so i have selected 12 books um i have selected one from almost everyone there's a couple people that i did not select books from um one person posted after i had already selected my list um and for another person the two books that i was interested um that they put on their list i have already had on a previous TBR um, which was The Martian and Know My Name by Chanel Miller which I'm actually probably still going to be working on in 2023 but I didn't select another book from that person just because I had already put two of those books on a previous TBR. Now I own one of the books that are on this list you'll notice in my um, other list that I'll be posting which is 20 books that I want to read in 2023 that I also don't own a lot of the books which is probably not the smartest thing but I don't have the biggest owned TBR so I'll probably be standing over here to the side um, so that you can see the pictures of the book here. Um, I believe five of the books that I'll be mentioning today will also be in that other list as well so I did allow myself a little bit cross of I did allow myself a little bit of a crossover just so it doesn't get too overwhelming or anything like that. Um, I think that's all I need to say on the topic so I will go ahead and just jump right in and let you know what books I'll be reading. I don't actually know too much about these books. I tend not to know a lot about books before I get into them so this will probably be fingers crossed a relatively shortish video. So the first book I selected is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. Um, I have heard really great things about this book. Um, you'll probably hear me say that phrase a lot throughout this video. Um, and I've never read a Tessa Bailey book. She seems to be a relatively popular romance author. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying out this book. I've heard good things about both this one and is it Hook, Line, and Sinker, I think is the second book. And I'm looking forward to finally being able to try this author out. Book number two is A Long Way to a Small and Angry Planet uh, by Becky Chambers. Um, so far, as of this point, I have not read one of her books yet. I do have the book A Psalm of Wild Built, I believe that's what it's called, on my December TBR. I'm still about six weeks out from getting that audiobook, uh, but chances are I'll obviously have read that before reading this one. Um, she is an author that I've heard really great things about. People seem to really enjoy her writing, so I'm very interested to get into that. I'm also getting more into sci-fi, so I want to get into this well-loved uh, sci-fi series. Next, we have the one book that I physically own off of that list, and that is Recursion by Blake Crouch. I read his book Dark Matter earlier this year and absolutely loved it. I definitely want to get to his, ne his next work and possibly even upgrade as well, but this is the one um, that I will be putting on my list. He usually writes, I think, kind of like sci-fi thrillers, and that's um, a genre that I've really been enjoying. Next, we have a historical romance, A Lady for a Duke by Alexis Hall. Um, I've had some misses and some hits with this author. I really enjoyed their book For Real, which I own right there. I didn't love boyfriend material, but I did have a lot of fun with um, husband material. So I definitely want to try out some of some more of that author's work. I've heard nothing but incredible things about this book and I'm always interested in historical romance but I don't pick it up that often so I definitely want to give this one a shot. Next we have Human Acts by Han Kong. This is a book that I added to my TBR because I heard another booktuber talking about it and it was intriguing. At this point I don't remember anything about it. I think it might 
be um, kind of historical. I'm trying to remember if it had magical realism aspects to it. I can't really remember. Um, but when I saw that someone put it as one of the best books that they read in the year, um, it definitely shot up higher on my TBR list. So I'm looking forward to giving it a try next year. Next, we have a short book called Comfort Me with Apples by Catherine Valente. This is another book that I've heard a lot of people talking about, and for the most part, they really seem to enjoy it. It seems to be kind of a suburban type thriller of a housewife who really loves her husband, but maybe her sense of reality is starting to shift as things that seem perfect no longer seem as perfect as they were before. Um, so it's an intriguing uh, concept and um, definitely want to go ahead and give it a try. Plus it's a short book and it's always great to have a short book on your TBR. <laughs> Up next is a book that has been on my TBR for at least two years. Um, so it's been a hot second since I decided I wanted to read this book. And I think one of the things that's been scaring me away from it is that it is a longer book. It's over 500 pages and I don't read books over 500 pages that often. But I mean, people absolutely go bonkers over this book. They absolutely love it, worship it, think it's incredible. So I definitely need to give it a read. And this is the year I'm going to do that. And that is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. So this I believe is a fantasy duology um, where we're following a man who's obsessed with um, a town a kingdom or something that um kind of disappeared from existence and then he has the opportunity to go to it um i hear that the writing is really beautiful and i do love a beautifully written fantasy so super excited to finally be getting to this well-beloved story for book number eight we have project hail mary by Andy Weir. I did read his um, The Martian story this year, just, you know, a month or so ago, and really enjoyed it. Um, and I've heard incredible things about this story. It seems to have a very well-beloved side character or a little alien robot creature or something that people really love. Um, so I'm really excited to check out more of his work for sure. For book number nine, I have chosen Nick and Charlie by Alice Osman. Um, I have read all of the graphic novels that are um, out at this time and have watched the TV show as well. I have to admit, I don't know what is happening in this story, um, but I love the characters and I'm excited to spend some more time with them. So all the books I've talked about so far are books that have actually already been on my TBR. Um, so these last three books are ones that weren't on my TBR previously. One of them is from an author that I've read in the past and planned on reading more of, but this specific book wasn't on it. Um, but the first one is Pandora's Box by Natalie Hain. I believe this is one of those feminist retellings of, you know, well-known Greek mythologies. I'm assuming Pandora is one of them. I don't know if it's one of the ones kind of like the Silent Girls, which I haven't read yet, um, where we follow multiple or if it just follows Pandora. Um, but I have to admit, Greek mythology always intrigues me. And of course, the more feminist retellings call out to me a bit more. Um, and I definitely want to start checking those out. So the next one is a book that I wasn't really drawn to, but I heard someone talking about it in such a way that it really intrigued me. I can't remember what they said or even who it was that said it at this point. That's how terrible my memory is. Um, but that is Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. I believe this is a YA story um, with what seems to be a somewhat unlikable main character, which is two things that I'm not super drawn to these days. Um, but like I said, someone said something about it. I said, that sounds interesting. And of course, 
one of the vlog squad members put it as one of their favorite books so i'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and for book number 12 um this is the book from an author that i have previously read and enjoyed and that is the house across the lake by riley sager i've read two of his previous books and for the most part enjoyed them lock every door i really enjoyed home before dark was good except the ending i didn't approve of <laughs> but um I think this book has had relatively good reviews I mean his survive the night is the one that seemed to have really flopped so I think this book did a lot better than that um it's not the kind of thriller that I'm always super drawn to it seems to be kind of one of those like the woman in the window kind of situation where someone sees something and you know they saw it while they're mentally unstable or having problems with alcohol consumption things like that aren't like the thrillers that I'm often drawn to um but you know I do want to read more Riley Sager and uh, saw that someone really enjoyed this so I went ahead and made it my last book on this list all right guys so those are the 12 books that I will be reading that were recommended by members of the vlog squad let me know um, if you gave any of these books five stars or highly recommend them so I know which ones to prioritize otherwise thank you so much for supporting my channel by watching my videos and I hope to see you next time bye